Hi, my name is Todd Berzer, and my family and I recently had a chance to seek out our Berzer heritage in Germany, to travel the Berzer Road, to travel the Berzer Strasse. And this video is for the American Berzers who might be interested in doing the same thing. As you guys know, the Berzer ancestral home is just north of Regensburg in Germany, in Bavaria. And in particular, there's three areas. If you guys are going to travel the Berzer Strasse, the, there, there's three areas that you want to think about going. And the first one is the Berzer Heartland. It's really between Schwandorf and Berlingenfeld, so that area. There's a second area around Regensburg. Uh, the Hildebrand branch of our family has a lot of connection with Regensburg. And then finally in Nittenau, uh, as, as many of you guys will know, where it was the last place that the Berzers farmed, uh, or our direct ancestors of the Berzers farmed before they came to the United States. So let's think about those three areas. Let's start with the Berzer heartland. And really it's the ancestral home of the Berzer family, the extended Berzer family, is really centered around Wiesfeldorf. And here we've got a picture of that. And this is St. Peter and Paul Church. And if you guys are familiar with the Kansas Berzers, um, and, and there's a church north of Ellenwood in Kansas that's called St. Peter and Paul Church. I don't think it's a coincidence that the two churches are named the same thing. Uh, there's a lot of connections. If you, if you walk through the cemeteries, you see a lot of the same names, you see a lot of our relatives, and you see a lot of Berzers. So if you're going to travel this area, uh, you might want to start at Berglingenfeld and start at the Rathaus and see if you can pick up some maps. They've got some nice detailed maps there. Then head on off to Wieseldorf and you can look at St. Peter and Paul's Church. And then in addition, um, you could have a, a Plank beer, which is uh, from the Plank side of the family. We've got, got our own beer. And then head off to Witzelarn. Now Witzelarn is a hard place to find. It's just a spot in the road. There's just a few buildings and then a very large and looks like prosperous farm. The farm is called uh, Witzelhof. And so you can walk around that area. That was the Berzer home. That was the Berzer home farm from the 1600s to the 1800s. So after you go there, then you might want to go to Schwandorf. And there's a Stadt Museum there. And at that museum, uh, there's probably some great information on the Berzer families. You'd have to dig in, especially if you've, if you've got German speaking ability. That'd be a great place to do some additional research. After that, you can head down to Regensburg. Our family's got lots of connections with Regensburg. Uh, the Hildebrand branch of our family uh, was a fairly wealthy family in this area for a long time. Uh, they owned the Apotheke Zoom Elephantum, the elephant pharmacy. Uh, so you can start there if you're going to walk around. Then you can head off to, to Wallenstrasse, a road that the Hildebrand branch of the family owned, I think about two blocks at some point. Um, then you can walk over to the Stone Bridge, and the Stone Bridge has got lots of Berzer stories behind it, or the, and I'm not going to get into that, but there's some legends around that bridge and the Berzer family. Um, we, can, we can do that one in another video. And then after the Regensburg, uh, after you go through Regensburg, you might want to head to, to Reykofen. So at Reykofen, um, you can, there's a, a, a slosh there, a slosh, did I say that right? So there's a castle. And there's a Schloss Wey. There's a, a road that leads off to the castle. Unfortunately, the castle is long gone. We couldn't find it at all. Maybe, maybe an area for future research. And then there's also nearby, there's a, there's a monastery, the Kloster Roy, uh, that the Hildebrand branch uh, gave a lot of money to uh, at, at some point and help establish. After that, you can head on out to Nittenau. Uh, and here we've got a picture of the, the Hotel Pertzer, uh, which is run by some relatives of ours, distant relatives. Uh, so you can stay there. They're very nice people. It's a, it's, a, it's a very fun place to stay. And if you're in Nitten now, well, you can start at the Stadt Museum. So uh, a good place. There's some good history in that whole area. You can, you can walk around the, the area, the central city area, as well as the area around the hotel. And then go on up to Tan and Sutzmühl. So Tan and Sutzmühl were the two places, the last farms. Those are the, that's the site of the last farms that our ancestors were at before they went to the United States. So the family of John Berzer was in the Tan uh, was at the Tawn Farm, and then the family of Michael Berzer uh, was at the Sutzmühl Farm. So you can go there, check those places out. And the Tawn Farm, now the farm is still there, but the house has been replaced. This is what the old house looked like. So this is the house of John Berzer. Uh, and this was, this was, I think this photo was taken in the 1950s. The house is now gone. There's a Czech family that, that lives there now, or, or German. I think they're originally Czech immigrants. Um, so this is what the old farm looked like. So I hope you get a chance to travel to Berzer Strasse. Uh, if you do, let us know how it goes. We'd love to hear. I've got my email address here and, and happy travels.